हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अ वेरी लवली मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम मिसेस कविता मोदी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर फोर फ्रैक्शनल नंबर्स इन दिस चैप्टर आवर टॉपिक्स आर टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस एंड फ्रैक्शंस इन द लोएस्ट टर्म्स व्हाट इज फ्रैक्शन फ्रैक्शन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ होल वेन वी डिवाइड अ होल इन इक्वल पार्ट Each part is a fraction of the whole. A fraction has two parts. The number on the top of the line is called the numerator. It tells how many equal parts of the whole are taken. The number below the line is called the denominator. It shows the total number of equal parts. For example, in 2 upon 7, 2 is called numerator and 7 is called denominator. Let's see one more example. Number A is a whole circle. Number B, circle is divided into two equal parts, so each part is one half. Number C, circle is divided into four equal parts, so each part is one fourth. And number D, if we shed three parts of a circle, the fraction is three fourths. Our next topic is types of fractions. There are seven types of fractions number 1 equivalent fractions number 2 proper fractions number 3 improper fractions number 4 like fractions number 5 unlike fractions number 6 unit fractions and number 7 mixed fractions let me explain you one by one number 1 equivalent fractions fractions which express the same part of a whole but have different name are called equivalent fractions for example see the given circle in figure a the circle is divided into two equal parts so each part is one half so fraction of blue part is 1 upon 2 in figure b the circle is divided into four equal parts so the fraction of red part is 2 upon 4 in figure c the circle is divided into six equal parts so the fraction of green part is 3 upon 6 in figure d the circle is divided into eight equal parts so the fraction of yellow part is 4 upon 8 so what you observe fraction which express the same part of a whole but have different names are called equivalent fractions let me explain you in an another way when we multiply the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same number other than 0 or 1 we get an equivalent fractions for example find the equivalent fraction of 5 upon 9 to find the equivalent fraction of 5 upon 9 we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number other than 0 or 1 If we take 4 as a common number, we get 20 upon 36. So, 20 upon 36 is an equivalent fraction of 5 upon 9. Let's solve one more question. Find the equivalent fraction of 3 upon 7. Again, to find the equivalent fraction of 3 upon 7, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number other than 0 or 1. If we take 5. as a common number we get 3 fives of 15 and 7 fives of 35 15 upon 35 so 15 upon 35 is an equivalent fraction of 3 upon 7 the next is proper fractions fractions whose numerators are smaller than denominators are called proper fractions for example 5 upon 9 1 upon 2 2 upon 7 and 7 upon 11 c in each case numerator are smaller than denominator the next is improper fractions fractions whose numerators are greater than denominators are called improper fractions for example 5 upon 3 12 upon 5 7 upon 2 and 10 upon 9 c in each case numerator are greater than denominator the next is like fractions 
fractions having same denominators are called like fractions for example 5 upon 9 1 upon 9 2 upon 9 and 7 upon 9 see in each case the denominators are same means it is equal to 9 our next topic is unlike fractions fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions for example 5 upon 3 1 upon 6 2 upon 7 and 7 upon 9 see in these examples all the denominators are not same so they all are unlike fractions the next topic is unit fractions fractions whose numerators are equal to 1 are called unit fractions for example 1 upon 7 1 upon 9, 1 upon 3, and 1 upon 2. See, in these examples, all the numerators are one, so it is an example of unit fractions. The next is mixed numbers. Improper fraction, written as a combination of a natural number and a proper fraction, is called mixed number. For example, 2, 3 upon 4. See, in this example. 2 is a natural number and 3 upon 4 is a proper fraction and both is a combination of natural number and proper fraction so it is a example of mixed number the another example is 7 1 upon 9 next 5 2 upon 3 and 1 1 upon 2 the next topic is fraction in the higher terms numerator and denominator are called the terms of a fraction when we multiply the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by a common number we get higher terms of the fraction for example 2 upon 5 to increase the higher term of 2 upon 5 we multiply numerator and denominator by the same number other than 0 or 1 if we take 3 as a common number we get 6 upon 15 So 6 upon 15 is a higher term of 2 upon 5. Let's solve one more example. 1 upon 2. To increase the higher term of 1 upon 2, we multiply numerator and denominator by the same number other than 0 or 1. If we take 6 as a common number, we get 6 upon 12. So 6 upon 12 is a higher terms of 1 upon 2 The next is fraction in the lowest terms a fraction is in its lowest terms when the numerator and denominator are prime means no common factor other than 1 when we divide the numerator and denominator of a fraction by a common factor other than 1 we get lowest terms of the fraction For example Reduce 18 upon 24 in the lowest term. If you see 18 and 24 both come in table of six, or HCF of 18 and 24 is six. If we divide 18 and 24 by six, we get 3 upon 4, which is in the lowest term because 3 and 4 have no common factor other than one. Or in another way, 18 upon 24. Dividing by a common factor two, we get nine upon twelve. But nine upon twelve is not a lowest term, so again divide nine upon twelve by a common factor three, and we get three upon four. So three upon four is in the lowest term because three and four have no common factor other than one. Let's solve the next question. Question number B. Reduce twelve upon sixty. in its lowest term if you see 12 and 60 both come in table of 12 or hcf of 12 and 60 is 12 if we divide 12 and 60 by 12 we get 1 upon 5 so 1 upon 5 is in the lowest term because 1 and 5 have no common factor other than 1 or in another way 12 upon 60 dividing by a lowest common factor 2 we get 6 upon 30 which is not in the lowest term remember in order to reduce a fraction 
into the lowest terms we go on dividing the numerator and denominator by their common factors till we are left with a fraction having one as the only common factor of its numerator and denominator 6 upon 30 both are even number so it is divisible by 2 if we divide 6 upon 30 by a common factor 2 we get 3 upon 15 but 3 upon 15 is not in the lowest term it is divisible by a common factor 3 so if we divide 3 upon 15 by a common factor 3 we get 1 upon 5 which is the lowest term because 1 and 5 have no common factor other than 1 see we get same answer in both the way so you can use any one way to reduce into lowest term hope you understand different types of fractions and reduced fractions in the lowest term students learn and write all the definitions once in math cw and complete lesson 4 worksheet 1 question 1 and 2 in textbook and question number 3 in math cw thank you have a wonderful day